Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. Hello and welcome back. Ready for us? I'm actually pretty hyped. Um, just had fancy football stuff going on, but um, let's get right back into it. Um, I'm going to just do auto sort and uh, instantly Tyler Adams with that 55. Woo! That's hype. Running back wise, Swoops is going to be Swoops this season. Um, we'll see uh, if any of these other guys can step up. Um, I'm actually going to open season with Bolted at four. Uh, we'll see how that goes. We're pretty solid at wide receiver now. Um, I'm actually going to move Morden down to... Uh, Morden's kind of going to be like a flex guy this season. He'll play a little bit in a couple different roles for us, um, but not a ton. Uh, tight end-wise, uh, we're looking pretty. Uh, Hunter's still going strong. This is the best line we've ever had, uh, which is great because we've been pretty solid. Uh, we have a great defensive line. We have our best linebacking core in recent memory, thanks to Jamel Jones. Um... We're weak at corner for the first time in a while, but DJ Mac is DJ Mac, so hopefully that will be okay. Uh, we're good at uh, safeties. Uh, kicker, Loingo stays ahead of Mason. That's good. Loingo's still going to be the backup there. Kick returner, uh, Chris Taylor. I think I'm going to keep DePleese in this role. He was fine last season. Actually, is Warren? I think we'll go Warren, actually, this season. All right. Oh, where's Warren still on my receiver depth chart? Yeah, he's pretty far down. Okay. So, um, honestly, I think Adams is going to be fine this year. Um, first game's a shootout with 368 yards. That's a huge improvement over last season. Um, I'm actually shocked that we had a 30-point scored on us. We're already two games over 20 points after struggling last season ever eclipsed that mark. And, um... Honestly, our offense is kind of clicking. We also haven't kept them to under 19 points. Um, that was a really rough game. Damn. Let's see if we can get our act together. Maybe we just had tough matchups to start the season. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is one of our best games we've had in franchise history. Tyler Adams really popping off there. Let's see. Anything major going to take place? So far, not really. Um, on pace for a thousand yards is Cecile Lawrence. Running backs, no one. The thing is, Swoops, he's looking like a good receiving receiver too. So that's one of the things I really like about him is that he he doesn't have bad hands. He's definitely able to be involved in the passing game. Uh, and wow, we've really proved since that first Dallas game defensively. Um, and while we're not getting great production from our running game, um, I actually might... I don't really want to play around with it because we have two really good receiving backs out there right now. And we're running a really good spread offense. Um, and Adams is putting up some solid stats here. He might actually be able to like, pass 4,000 yards, um, which would be great. It would be the best uh, passing performance of our franchise so far. Um, wow. Uh, really high-scoring game again. Uh, and we're just cooking on offense right now. Um, absolutely on fire. Um, unfortunately, we aren't getting a lot of yardage from Swoops. But he, he's being productive in the passing game, despite not really doing great in the running game. I mean, he might have less than 700 yards on 200 rushes. But either way, um, Tyler Adams is now the face of this franchise. He is putting on a near MVP performance um, with no dominant player either. Um, Cecile Lawrence is the closest thing. Uh, probably going to give bigger opportunity to bold it with this injury. So we suffered a sizable injury of swoops. I kind of want to see what bold it does because bold is a passing back. So we'll see if bold it can step up. See, I, 
I'm not going to lie. I'm not ruling out Boldit taking over. He He's looking pretty competent from a all-around standpoint so far. And he could potentially slot in as a, a new, a, a potentially solid replacement level running back. Um, I guess we'll see as the season progresses if uh, he gets another opportunity. But he looked good in limited op in limited run. So, uh, I almost want to say it's time to start benching Swoops because he isn't really putting up great performances anymore. He's just getting carries for the sake of getting carries. Like, yeah, that's just not cutting it. He's a good receiver. He's definitely a good receiver, though. That's the thing. Our, our offense fits him, but only because he's a good receiver. At running, he is not effective right now. I actually think I'm going to bench him in favor of Boldit because Swoops is not putting up good rushing stats. Um, bam, that kind of sucks because he's, he's such a good passer. We'll see. So we got a first round bye, but Adams is out? Come on. So La Leafu is in. Leafu is in. Um, it's Leafu time. I'm honestly going to switch back to Swoops here because I think we're going to need a more traditional lineup. I mean, Boldit did look fairly good um, in limited action. So it looks like he started as a tight end, which is why he has the passing experience. He also has a ring, so. All right. Um... <laughs> Curtis Lafu, here you go. Take me home. One, two. We're actually up. We are up big. Lafu's honestly not doing bad. But, uh, frankly, it's our defense. 100% our defense, man. We have a single touchdown, and it's to our tight end. Um, I think we had an injury to our kicker. Yep, yep, we had an injury to our kicker, so I'm glad we had Mason on. There you go, proves my point. All right. Um, let's see, LaFou's driving. Um, we're on the one, and CJ swoops with the touchdown. Um, honestly, this game might be out of hand. Swoops is now ripping them apart. Wow. Swoops fumbled. Dawkins recovers. That's good. Life food is sw Swoops is just popping off right now. He's involved in every aspect of this team. Ten yard rush. That that might ice the game right there. Swoops for nine. On the five. Morden for one. Swoops. Swoops another touchdown. Damn. Swoops popping off. Swoops 21 100 with two touchdowns. How many yards receiving? 50. Damn, he's already over 150 total yards. Let's see if he can get 200 potentially. To get the ball back quick. Zach Recurvia. That's great. Morden can't ice the game, so we just get a kick there, but the game's over. Yeah, there we go. Um, wow, what a victory. Um, I gotta look and see, but I think that was one of the best playoffs I've ever seen from CJ Swoops. Look at the CI. Damn. Yeah, one fourth his season rushing yards in that game. By far the best game of his career. Um, awesome performance. All right. With that, we'll be going against Mexico City. This is the deepest run we've had. I'm kind of excited. Damn. Um, end of one quarter. We have two. End of... 
yeah, so now we're in the third quarter here. We'll see what our team is doing. Life who's just doing okay. Um, Quincy Williams is who we're against. That's kind of cool. Um, Swoops got hurt. So Glenn Duplius is, is in. Boldit is playing a little bit. Um, wow, we've actually suffered major injuries. Our team is crippled right now. Uh, Lawrence is hurt. Uh, Hunter is hurt. Swoops is hurt. Wow, most of our big names are hurt. But we we have the lead. Um, this is going to honestly come down to Lifeu. We have our starting quarterback, tight end, wide receiver, and running back are all hurt right now. And kicker. And our kicker. Mason is still in. Lifeu is incomplete. We could use this big time. He got the first. Duplius having really driving well now. Dawkins on the one. Incomplete to Morden. Still on the one. And one tired touchdown. Bold it. That might have sealed the game. That puts us up big time here. We'll see if we can stop them. Agrivia got hurt. Damn. Um, we got the ball back with seven minutes left. Morden for 14 yards. Um, he gets sacked. Um, incomplete to Baker. Incomplete to Dawkins. We punt. But at this point, I think we have the game basically sealed. It would need to be an insane um, half for the, or insane uh, five minutes for them to come back from this, which isn't looking likely. Yeah, they got a field goal on that. Um, Morden with a 10 yard rush, uh, Castle for 11 yards, um, Morden for 10 more yards. Morden having a big game. I mean, I guess when you all your team gets injured, um, but we we punted it away. But that that's the game. Oh, oh, Josh Albert picking up. Uh, damn. So even with an injured as heck team, we'll be going to the Super Bowl. Um, thanks to what looks like a just excellent game management from Laifu, uh, and a great defensive game. Um. Morden also getting heavily involved. He only had three rushes, but he had 10 uh, targets with six catches for 56 yards, coming in real clutch in the second half. Um, yeah, despite major injuries, we did pretty uh, pretty good in that game. Uh, honestly, kind of proud. Super Bowl it is. Uh, Swoops is back. Cecile Lawrence is back. Anderson's back. All right, Super Bowl time. We still don't have our starting quarterback. I'm I'm gonna promote Sullivan the backup. Actually, you know what? No, Sullivan's definitely gonna be the backup. Here we go. Here goes nothing. All right, at halftime in the Super Bowl, it is tied. Laifu has the only passing touchdown on just four attempts. Um, they are beating us on the ground, I guess. Um, Gluplice is kind of struggling, to be honest. Uh, Swoops is really struggling. Um, the guy that's really been carrying our team is, ironically, Swoops in the passing game. Uh, but this has been a defensive battle. And during the fourth quarter, we are up two. This is a defensive game. Who got the safety? Marcus Davis uh, was the one that we got out for them. They're running back. That's great. The the defining play right now. That's lovely. All right. Ivan Good for 54 yards. That's not great. Incomplete. Davis, seven yards, fourth and one. Campbell, we got the ball back. They went for it, and we get the ball back as a result. Swoops, negative four. Oh, wow. This is just a miserable game. We're punting, right? Yeah. Look at this. This is absolutely horrible. Oh, they returned the touchdown. Great. So we are now forced to play from down. Oh, wow. Swoops with a big play. Swoops with a smaller play. Um, Duplice, 11 yards. That's big. 
three yards, I'll take it. I feel like Deplice is the better running back right now, and Swoops is the better receiving back. It's a weird dynamic they got going. But then ever so often, Swoops does that. All right. Um, fourth and five, we got to go, right? Nope, we punt. Jack Johnson's a dangerous return run. Yeah. 55 yards to Ivan Good. That might be game. Yep. I don't know if we can come back from that. Life through to Dawkins. CJ swoops. Swoops. Dupuis. We're picking up the first. But two minutes left. We need two scores. Incomplete. Lawrence. Yep. That's game. Lose the Super Bowl. Thanks to... Honestly, if Johnson doesn't win it, I'm going to be great. Like, absolutely out of my mind. Um, Swoops, though, is putting up a pretty good second half. But it's definitely too little too late. Waifu just isn't not... Oh. Technically, we're not eliminated yet. Just not looking good. Damn, so we got pretty roughed up, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they had some long runs, and we gave up the big plays, and that's what cost us in the end. Um, Swoops had a great game. Dupuis put up some solid stats, but ultimately it was the big plays to Ivan Good. Good or Jack Johnson to 100% have won uh, Super Bowl MVP. Um, and it went to Ivan Good, fair, fair. Tyler Adams won MVP. Damn. Did not see that coming at all. Um, that's pretty exciting. I'm not going to lie. Swoops did retire after that game. Um, Zach Agavia um, and Provit. Wow, we actually lost two big members of our O-line and our starting running back. But our team looks good. I don't think I'm going to get fired. Um, yeah, we're just breaking even right now. So... <laughs> pick up Ivan Henderson. Um, it's kind of going to shoot the bucket there because uh, realistic, we don't got many picks right now. Um, Mackenzie Blake, huge member of our O-line. He's definitely coming back. David Olson as well. I mean, the thing is we got to keep this O-line together because that's what made swoops even tolerable. Um, Eugene Reed suffered a sizable injury. I don't know if he's going to be the same, so I'm actually going to let him go. Um, Gordon is a weird thing. I mean, he's useful because he can do a lot, but on his career, he's only averaged 4.1 yards per carry, and he's never passed 400 yards receiving. He's not worth all that much because a guy like Swoops is much cheaper and was able to put up better stats. Tyler Adams is refusing. No. That's huge. Um, so Dawkins, uh, he had a great season, definitely a breakout. We'll see if we can replicate that. Uh, Evan Henderson probably going to slot in to be our number one running back. Um, Zach Johnson probably not coming back. He didn't do anything. I was hoping he might do something, but nope. Uh, don't think I'm going to even sign. I guess I'll sign Colin Little. Maybe he does something, but doubtful. Um. We're definitely going to have to go after a quarterback here. Big time. Um, life who is not the answer, despite a good, strong playoff performance. Looking at quarterbacks here. Um, yeah, so... I almost want to say I'm going to sim a day. I think I'm going to sim a day. We'll hope one of these guys might change. Nope. One of those guys did not change their mind. So, I want to look for a bridge quarterback. Um, not much out there. Will Gordon was pretty phenomenal for Philadelphia. I'm going to bring Will Gordon in for two years, and we'll see if Will Gordon can be anything. God, that's... Not promising 
I guess Laifu might even potentially play a big role. Um, I don't really like any of these other guys for that. Um, I per I suppose Adrian Aiden Heron could potentially pick up some playing time, but we'll see. Um, we did lose Swoop, so I do want to consider bringing in a running back. I guess Rick Delouche, who didn't get signed, could potentially factor in. Um, we'll also pick up another O line because we have some cap here. Um, I will pick up, um, honestly, he's fairly cheap, kind of young. It'll be a good pick. Um, and I'm going to look down a little bit and we'll see if we can get some cheap guys here. We got 50. Um, let's see, 48 potential there. Um, nothing huge, but. They'll, they'll be decent depth, guys. We do need to bring in at least one star defensive player here. Um, so we'll pick up a potential pack defensive player in Brian Kell. Um, we'll pick up a veteran, probably, in Alex McManus. I actually think he was a superstar just a few years ago. Um, and let's see. I'm going to now sort by less than $2 million, And we'll pick up... Um, one more guy, Quentin Bull, and probably honestly, we'll just pick up a, a top guy there. And I want to go look at safeties, and we'll just pick up the top safety that we can afford. Six million. That'll give us a uh, Grant Ilago or Aguao or whatever. All right. I'll see you guys next episode.